Darwin's theory, struggle for existence, and the survival of the fittest, I am sure, we all have definitely heard about it. Life, on Earth was not always as it is now. Evolution, has always been one of the most interesting topics for humanity. How, did life begin? How, did this species evolve? These, are the questions, that Darwin answered, via his theory during 1830 to 1835, which was approximately 200 years. If, we sit, and read the Bhagavad Purana or the Garuda Purana, one would definitely, be able to see, the resemblance between, the Vedic teachings, and Darwin's theory. But, the most important thing is that, these books were written thousands of years, before the birth of Darwin. Let's get to know, more about the resemblance, between both, the teachings. And do like this video, comment your views, and subscribe, to our channel for more such videos. It is said, that Lord Vishnu, descends to the earth in the form of various incarnations, to restore, the cosmic order, and all these, ten reincarnations are the result of it. Stage 1, life started in the water. Protoplasmic organisms, lived in water, and this is where life started, which later evolved into fishes, and this can be said to be the first stage of evolution. Lord Vishnu's, first reincarnation. The Matsya Avatara, was also a fish. Just like Darwin said, all life started underwater. So did, Lord Vishnu's first reincarnation. Stage 2, just like Darwin said, life slowly moved, from water to land, where the water organisms, adapted to life on both land and water, now known as, the amphibians. This resembles, Lord Vishnu's second reincarnation, the Kurumar Avatara, which was a turtle, also an amphibian. Stage 3, life adapted with the ability, to survive on land. The Divines, third reincarnation of the wild boar, the Varaha Avatara, represents this stage, of Darwin's theory. But the question arises, why wild boar? So, there are, two possible explanations for this. First, the wild boars, are strongly rooted to their body. Thus, making it easy, for it to survive the harsh living condition, on land during that time. Second, it belongs, to the sonar family, whose jaw and teeth, are in front and therefore, they do not need to swallow their food, like we humans. It is extremely enlightening, to note that, our Vedic teachings had such, insightful knowledge dot thousands of years ago. The sixth reincarnation, of the divine, is the Parashuram avatar. This reincarnation, had similar characteristics, as that of Homo habilis, also known as Handyman, as the name suggests, they used primitive weapons, made of stone, and wood. Just like Lord Parashuram, he used an axe, and is known for his anger and acting on a whim. A full-fledged but emotionally volatile man. The seventh reincarnation, of the Vishnu, the Rama Avatara, a peaceful, perfect gentleman. Here we can see a much evolved form of a human, who knew what he was doing and had control over his actions. The next, the eighth reincarnation, is the Krishna Avatara, a loving man. Who knew, the details of politics, and could impart his knowledge, to people at the right time. For instance, Lord Krishna's teachings, to Arjuna during, the Mahabharata war. After this, is the ninth reincarnation, the Buddha, Avatara, a peaceful, loving, and meditative man. We can also, call this, the current humans. Who can control their emotions, and knows, how to live peacefully, in harmony with other humans and creatures. But, we can see, that this can only happen, if one wants to live peacefully. Otherwise, we can still, see some humans, who are in that, sixth reincarnation stage only. The tenth manifestation of the divine is, the Kalki Avatara, which can be considered as the techno-humanoid of tomorrow. Who is supposed to be a mystical human being? These all reincarnations, or evolution comparison, do not necessarily mean, that it's one person. It's about, humanity evolving. Life evolving, in a certain way. So, in our Vedic teachings, which is over one thousands of years ago, this was written. Doesn't it run? Very much parallel, to Darwin's theory of evolution. 
It's nearly there, in fact, it's very much there. If you also feel the same, the like this video, comment your views, and share this information with your loved ones. Thank you.